hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to create a specific folder inside your google drive for your pdf which is generated by appsheet so i have a sample application here and i would like to create a pdf and i would like to save that pdf in a specific folder inside my google drive so i have an automation so this automation it creates a pdf on ads only since i have only one table it's only from sales table so to create a pdf this is very simple just go to the automation uh, create a new automation then here you can configure the event you can select a table so data change type so in this sample app i would like to create a pdf when there is a new record only so basically when you add a new record create a pdf you select create a file you can upload the template or you can create new one and here we have a file folder path and file name here so let's focus on this uh, two parts here uh, two settings here so when you leave this empty this is usually empty when you create a automation for the pdf so you, once you leave this empty it creates a folder inside the Google Drive so as you know the app sheet so if you wanted to know the folder path it saves in app sheet data app sheet and the name of the app uh, let's go here so here my app sheet saves in this folder app sheet which is correct then next is data then the folder is this one as you can see App sheet PDF, PDF link access so this is the folder so right now there is no folder here once we add a new data and it triggers the automation it generates a PDF it will create automatically a folder so let's try save going back here it should create a folder called file since we keep the uh, uh, settings here folder path is empty let's wait so as you can see here and then inside of it is the issue PDF so what if you wanted to save it in a particular folder and since you wanted to share it to your team for example so to do that let's go back to the app sheet let's uh, configure this so instead instead of saving it inside these files I would like to save it uh, still under the uh, still under the under this so I would like to create under this folder, inside of this folder, I mean, I would like to create a new folder here. So let's say the folder name will be my PDF, for example. Can, so this is how you do that. All right. If it's inside the, uh, if it's inside the, that folder, so you, you don't need to create more. So, okay. So this is how you create a new folder. Then for the file name, uh, since this is on ads only, all you have to do is just, uh, I will just, just make it very simple. So concatenate, or you can just keep like this ID. Since this is in one uh, a one-time PDF only. So I can just do that and then disable timestamp, that's it. So now let's try to add a new data. If it creates a new folder and it will be saved there all right so let's try save and let's go to the Google Drive sync it to make it faster so it should create now a dedicated folder which is my PDF and that PDF it's there all right so now uh, the question is how you going to link this PDF inside your app sheet app so to link we can use a virtual column so let's go back to the app sheet uh, let's go to the table where the pdf is generated i mean the trigger the trigger table so here which let's create a virtual column let's say pdf file or pdf link you can name this as you like so here just put a temporary one here we need to go to, uh, to the settings and here in the information inside the information you can see a folder your app 
location here. So you can just copy this, all right, and then go back to the table, and then you can just paste that, all right. Then we need to get the uh, folder name inside your drive. So the folder name inside my drive. So I would like to here it's it, it's my PDF. So you can just maybe if it's very long, you can just copy it and then insert another bracket and put that my PDF. Then we need to know how you name your file. So the the way I name my file, let's save it first. The way I name my file is it's only based on ID because it's only like one time. If you have like uh, if you also produce PDF on edits, so you you can use like change counter. Let's say so you you can add a column inside here that say uh, change counter. So every time you edit, it's it adds up. So all right. So since it's only one time, so I use only this. So ID, the column is ID. Let's go back there. All right. So ID. So you can use and. Put the ID and bracket, I mean um, double quote, dot PDF. All right. So that's how you link it. Save. And then make sure you keep this as a file type. Uh, let's save first. All right, so now uh, it has the link here. So actually you can, let's make it very simple and let's click that. So we wanted to show it here as a, let's say on prominent type. So let's just keep this, keep this as a table type. We don't need to show this here. All right, now let's go to the actions. So we have a PDF here, it's in line. I would like to show it here on the uh, prominent. So you can show it here. So you can see, you can rename it. Let's say you can rename this as PDF link. Then maybe we can get some icons here. All right, so, and save. So now let's try if we can access those records. So for sure, the first record that we added, you cannot access it because it saves in in this particular folder in file, right? So let's try. You cannot open it. See, you cannot open. How about the second one that we added? So the timestamp is this. You cannot steal it. So for the new one, now it will be it will be working. So let's try. Let's delete this first. And let's delete also the uh, PDF here Okay, and then we can now remove these files. I mean this PDF. So now let's try to add new record and see if it's working All right, let's sync it. Let's just see in the inside the Google Drive if it's adding a new PDF See it's added and see if we can access it here So it's saying here the AVX not fun, so let's double check our formula if if it's correctly added. So my PDF and an ID. All right. Okay, it seems okay. Seems working. Oh, sorry, we missed one uh, one thing here. So make sure uh, one bracket here is missing. So this is now the correct one. We missed one bracket here. Sorry for that. Let's try to save. So this is a live uh, video, guys. So it's there's no edits on this. So now let's try. Here we go. All right. So let's try to add new one and another one. So it, there should be a two PDF right now here. Then you can also access that inside the. Uh, App sheet. So this is the latest one below and as you can see now you can access your PDF 
and create a specific folder inside your Google Drive. So if you learned something in this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any questions, guys. And uh, let me show you one time. So this is the formula I use. And thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.